What's going on ladies and gents? It's your boy Henry here and welcome back to another market update. Today we're going to be going over SPY, QQQ, Bitcoin, and VIX as we always do. Uh, I'm going to be holding off on QQQ because I have something on the chart that we are going to be talking about uh, in the second half of this video and I think it is going to be pretty juicy. I think it is something that is going to tremendously help our trading here on the channel. I'm going to point out why clearly when you guys see the QQQ chart. All right, but for now, we're going to just go over SPY and uh that's where that's the indice of choice that we're going to go over today. I uh, will look at QQQ, but I don't want to expose what's on the chart yet, all right? Um but yeah, okay. So, we do have another candle of indecision forming and I just want to call out the last time we had these candles, two candles of indecisions, uh it was a move to the upside. So just keep in mind that breaking out the upside is on the table tomorrow just because last time we did literally have this same formation and it's not the same thing because this candle is not the same as that candle and these candles, which is like what I, if you guys remember what I said in these videos, I said it looked like a reverse hangman and I thought the uh, test of performance would or not test of performance, but the theoretical performance would be a uh, uh, bearish continuation. Uh, but that also didn't happen here. So, I mean, hey, just don't be surprised if we do break to the upside tomorrow. Um, I am looking to make my last buy tomorrow because I do believe tomorrow is going to, uh, it's going to mark the, the peak. Um, so, yeah, if we do break out, I just don't expect us to break out past this 200 MA. So, that is just what I'm thinking for strictly tomorrow uh, going off of this daily chart. Uh, but, yeah, I do have buying powder ready to go for tomorrow specifically into vix uh i'm going to be buying the 20 calls the september 21st calls and maybe i'll buy a few more 25s but i have a decent amount uh and i don't really care to add too much more to those but the 20s the in the money ones um i am really a fan of just knowing that my contracts are going to be moving in the money uh just because when theta comes around uh, it's not really going to matter. It's just like a, it's a complete stress reliever off the table. When I have contracts that are out the money, I feel the need to sell right away to secure the gain. Um, a rather large, a uh, larger position of the, uh, uh, larger portion of the position than I often actually want to. And it's just because I'm like, oh, okay, this was the quick spike. But when you have an in the money contract, there is no quick spike. It just steadily goes up. And that's what I want. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I am going to be adding to those and I am rather excited about that. Um, but yeah, here on the VIX. Okay. So we went over what's going on for tomorrow on spy. Okay. I just want to call, oh, I exposed. Okay. I didn't mean to click on that. I was a habit, but either way, um, we're going to, we're going to talk about this soon anyway. Uh, but yeah, VIX, you're getting your buy signal on the daily chart and you're not getting a breakout, but you had another day where you went out and came back in. Um, so I did warn that maybe you break to the upside here. I don't think you're going to pass this 200 MA. Um, and that means maybe your VIX will come back in. Last time you had these kinds of days, last two times you had these days where you broke out and came back in uh, and you're opened like this and you came straight down, uh, you came to the bottom of the wedge, right? Or, you, or this time you didn't come to the bottom of wedge before revisiting that. But this time you did. Either way, you had a fall, all right? Um, and this time, if you have any fall tomorrow, I would expect that VIX is probably going to come around to this last support right here, this 1860 level. And if it doesn't hold here, yeah, then uh, this zone here is going to be on the table. And I took it off the chart uh, just to keep the chart clean. Uh, but right here, we got that. All right, there we go. Uh, so yeah, if you take out this level right here at 1850, you are coming down into this zone. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think we might have an update tomorrow and it's going to give the most perfect entry on uh, uh, VIX calls tomorrow. And I am rather excited about that. All right. Um, yeah, guys. All right. So let's now get into what I said I want to talk about on QQ's chart. So you're wondering what the hell are all these lines? This looks like a great big mess i have two new things that we're going to be introducing to the channel specifically because i see how well they work okay and i i've seen how well they work with bitcoin uh of this what, what you may ask what this line is here um and if i measured my fibonacci right then yeah this is the golden pocket 
for the Fibonacci. All right, and how to measure it? Um, where'd it go? Fibonacci is that Fibonacci? No, this is the Fibonacci. All right, and you come down here. You come up here, all the way down here. Okay, and as you see right here, this is the golden pocket right here. And look what happened. So, and I'm pretty sure I measured that right. All right, this is like. Not my first time using Fibonacci's. I've used them in the past, but I've never really seen the importance of them. The fact that this is like literally getting resistance right here, okay, is really cool to me. And let's just see what's happening with Spy, okay? Spy also near its Fibonacci uh, golden pocket. Because if it is, that would also be pretty cool. And again, that would be blowing my mind. And is it in the golden pot? Holy shit. It's in the golden pocket, guys. It is in there. Golden pocket is right here. Here. I go like that. So that is the golden pocket on the pocket on the spy. And look, yeah, you're getting resistance in here. And look, that's where you bounce. That's where you got your support down here. All right. So, I mean, I'm just saying this is pretty cool. Okay. And uh, because I see this is working so well. I am adding this to the chart, okay? I am going to be utilizing the golden pocket. I don't really know about any normal Fibonacci levels other than the golden pocket. Uh, a golden pocket, I don't think it really matters, but like, let's see if 50% matter. Did the 50% retracement on QQQ matter? Uh, and you can see if it matters, if it respected it, because you should be seeing resistance. So it was right here at this green line. Um, Right here, oh, we did have it. It. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, that was at my line. Um, okay, yeah, no, I mean, I, I don't see the importance of anything other than this golden pocket with the Fibonacci. And then aside from that, what the I, I called out the other day, the channel, the trading fraternity, he called out in his video about um, like any bear market rally has not in history has not crossed over the 50% Fibonacci retracement level um before got heading back and uh continuing the trend all right so that kind of does take us out of a bear market bear market territory but maybe this is going to be the exception okay that it doesn't but i mean that is every uh trader's last words who uses those words this is going to be the except or maybe this is going to be the exception um so yeah i'm gonna say this is probably not going to be the exception and we're probably going to come down we're probably going to make a higher low and then we're going to continue on all right now i also want to point out what these lines are because again you guys are wondering what the heck are these lines on the chart and i'm going to explain okay because it's pretty cool okay and i actually don't even know what causes this cycle okay i'm going to explain where i got these from and why i have the red ones and why i have the white ones okay uh so the red ones trend uh downtrend this is when we would be selling at the top of the cycle uh, we're going to call these cycle brackets, okay? And the white ones, that is where we'd be buying the bottom of the cycle brackets, okay? You can't just buy the bottom of the cycle brackets and sell the top of the cycle brackets, as you can see. Because if you did that while the trend was down over here, you would have just been, no, you would have been like, you would have been screwed, okay? It just wouldn't have been working out, all right? Um, so where did I get these, okay? So in... Like, why don't I know what they mean? Okay, but I am still blown away, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go over why I'm blown away by uh just what what we have here, what these lines represent, okay. These buy and sells represent. Um, because it's it's mind blowing how much money you would have made if you just did exactly what these lines here is uh, telling you. This is sell over here, these red lines, this is buy over here. The only thing is this is the bottom of the cycle brackets, this is the top of the cycle brackets. I got this from Sebastian, okay? I messaged him on Patreon um, or on the private Twitter handle. I messaged him and I asked him about the cycle brackets and he did say that they are different across the indices, okay? Um, but the reason I don't know what causes the cycle brackets is because, I mean, I'm not going to ask the guy because this is, uh, listen, man, all right? I, I pay for his info, okay? I'm going to have to research uh, this on my own. Maybe I will ask him. I don't know, okay? Like what caused it? Like what made him place these brackets where he did but he's had these brackets uh and he, he claims they are the same ones and that's why i started going on google and i started looking up cycle brackets and then i saw the holy crap thinkorswim and training view has these 
Uh, it's literally just the drawing tool that I could put on the chart. It's not any indicator. It's just a drawing tool. Um, and yeah, cl very clearly QQ is following this. But yeah, I give full credit. These, this is from Sebastian. I don't know how he came across this uh, and discovered the importance of these cycle brackets. But these are the exact ones that he has. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep them on a chart. And I kept them on the RSI. So uh, just because they would be very annoying just going up here. And we wouldn't be able to go like this on the chart. Whereas the RSI, you, we can. We could just keep it right there. And they'll just be at the bottom. And it looks all good. Um, but yeah, okay. I'm, we're not going to really go off of these. But they are going to be just a, another factor on the table okay the cycle brackets and we're gonna go over why okay because look what happened when your trend changed okay first things first what happened if you just bought puts at the start of the day on these cycle brackets okay so the start of the candles you would have caught a down move and sold here okay you sold let's but like also just what was the problem like not not you sold up here this is like the the other red the next red line up here this is where you are taking your next sell position, but you had the you had the possibility of selling for a that's minus twenty dollar move. Okay, now you bought the top of this cycle bracket. Okay, you could have sold within within five five trading sessions. You could have sold a minus thirty dollar move. Okay, uh, right here. Yes, this was FOMC, and I remember Sebastian had us going short here. All right, and I was like, holy cow, why are we going short? This is crazy. And I didn't, I didn't question it because I kept losing. I remember I just kept losing and I was like, you know what? No, I have to take a step back and I have to learn from the guy who has not been losing such as I have. Okay. And this whole duration all up here, I was just losing. Okay. I mean, not all of them were losses. I was, I was like some trading techniques that I was using, they were winning. Um, but yeah, I didn't know. I didn't have this whole big picture trading and charting point of view here no it was just kind of me uh, testing everything out in a bear market um but this is like the result of me testing a lot of things out in the bear market and the only things that are on the chart here and that we actually use are the things that i have found with my own personal experience to work and i'm just saying now that i have put these on my chart and i have marked these you see a very clear trend here that these are like holy cow like when you when you're using these with alignment with the trend like it's it's mind-blowing what you could have done so here if you're buying right here you're buying at the the open right here you had a chance to sell a th another 30 dollar move guys this is a 20 dollar move 20 dollar move 30 dollar move 30 dollar move all right you're buying here and yes you had a bull trap the next day all right so yeah you were in a you're in the red by nine dollars almost but again you sold another at the bottom you sold almost the $20 move, a $17 move, okay? Then you had this one, okay? And so here is where it gets juicy, what we got going on up here, okay? And I don't know if this is gonna happen, um, but if we don't start turning up on this day, I'm gonna be like, holy cow, this is a possibility. I'm gonna say this is on the table, and this is just 100%, and this is why I'm making this video a little early. I wanted to talk about this. Um, this is kind of crazy, okay? So look at this. You had straight like like weeks of selling off on these cycle brackets okay these had one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine trading sessions in the cycle bracket all right and they're all the same they're the exact same that's all it was it was literally this you go like this you find your start date and you just bring it to the end date and look it's equal cycles that's all you had to do for this to put this on your chart and if you want to copy this do it i'm just saying like when you have a clear trend here it looks to be working we're gonna look back and just look at here it's clear as day working here so whatever like his input was to have it where it was the past few months it has been killing it and i've been questioning like what is it like i just want to know and now that i have it on my chart i see like i don't know what caused him to, sebastian to put the inputs at what they were but this is absolutely like crazy. This is like weeks of straight gains. But look what happened, okay? So you would have bought the open here, okay? And you didn't go down. You didn't like, you didn't make your cycle low here. So you made your cycle low and you didn't start popping up. You just consolidated until like going into where you should have been making your cycle high right here. You, consolid you consolidated the whole way through, right? And then you started falling where you should be making the cycle high, all right? And then you started catching this move, okay? You started catching another almost $30 move before the next cycle ended. And here's the thing. 
Now you flip the script, okay? And we knew to flip the script because of the weekly chart. That's why I did what I did here. That's why I have the sells here and that's why I have the buys here because we knew to flip the script. We knew we were going to be in a few weeks of bullish action because of what was happening on the week of time from this bullish uh uh blah, 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 this bullish divergence that has formed here on the stochastic and the cci um and i think it's on the rsi it's just i, I have it covered there um but yeah okay so that's why i have it in white but now i want to show you what's really crazy okay so you bought you caught the bearish moves by just matching the cycle brackets your buys with the top of the cycle brackets and you're selling the top of the cycle brackets like you had very good buys on every single thing for one two three four five times you had great returns all right now we knew to flip the switch exactly on this day and that was the bottom of this cycle bracket so the bottom of this cycle bracket was the exact day that this bearish divergence formed on the daily time frame and we were watching for this day so this would have been another factor to tell us holy cow we're buying at the bottom of the cycle bracket when it's it's aligning with our other buy signals that's crazy and the next day boom we got our cci signal and you got the cross in your stochastic like boom two more buy signals that's fantastic all right like that's just and so that's why i say we're not going to rely on this as an indicator but what we are going to be doing is we're going to be having this on a chart we're going to keep it on a chart and it's going to be just another factor on the table all right and when we're in the trend we're going to be seeing okay like are we like look at this dude this is like perfect so this would have been your sell like let's just now put on uh the middle of it right here like look at this you would have bought here at the bottom of the cycle you would have sold here at the top of the cycle this is the top of the cycle bracket here it was literally the top here let's see the top of this all right it was one that you would have sold there okay let's see the top of here you would have sold there let's see it right here you would have sold there right here like this is insane guys i don't i don't get it but look at this look at this so you're buying the bottom of this cycle bracket you're selling the top right here look at this move so and by the way you're buying on open okay that's just the rule i have here but also keep in mind like some of these you would have gotten better entries if you didn't buy an open all right but that's why i say we're not going to use this as an indicator we're going to use this to just let another factor on the table look at that that's another 18 dollar move get killed okay and that's if you sold the end of the day if you just didn't sell the end of the day you caught an 11 dollar move but if you did sell the end of the day that's 19 18 to 19 bucks all right and then you bought here you bought the open right here you sold like if you sold the top 13 dollars move if you didn't sell the top within a few trading sessions you went up eight eight bucks all right if you have solid contracts they, those moved pretty well okay if you bought the open here and just sold here if you sold the top you would have gone a 25 dollars move if you sold the bottom within five trading sessions guys 20 dollars move all right you're buying here this is the bottom of the uh the bracket you buy at the beginning of the day at open directly at open i'm just literally taking the the open of these candles guys if you sold the top of the the top of the cycle bracket uh on the top of that day all right so like the close of that day you would have caught a 25 dollar move if not you would have caught a 17 dollar move okay so now your next move right here you would have bought right here the top of this the top of the candle because uh red candle um and you would have sold right here right here at open another 14 dollar move I'm just saying guys all right i i don't know the input i really don't and i'm being very transparent here of how i do not know the input but i'm very clearly seeing value here and i'm going to find that input guys i don't care like i don't i don't, I don't care this thing is clearly a valuable resource here like knowing the in the thing on the uh thing on on this like so the vic cycle brackets that he had they were different inputs then what he what he uh has on the qq chart i looked um and i put his vix ones on here and i couldn't make sense of it they didn't look like they were nearly as good as like these signals right here but yeah this is why i say like i'm not going to use this as an indicator like it's not it's not as val it's not like my cci or stochastic or rsi it is just another factor on the table but very clearly you could have made so much money every like for five weeks straight and then another five weeks straight to the upside absolutely phenomenal guys this is something that we are 100 percent going to be utilizing um and yeah okay so this thing so now i'm going to start deleting all these okay so we're gonna we're gonna clean up the chart here because this is why i wasn't even exposing this chart before because there's no way we're doing any other charting here 
on that okay like with all this here all right but now you guys see why my mind was blown like it was straight up like when you look at the numbers dude you bought if you buy two weeks out all of those times dude you were making fat bread you're making fat money guys like fat money like i can't believe the numbers that we just looked at on those entries and that's literally not an indicator that's not anything that's literally just buying at the beginning of these days and sometimes if you bought later in the days of the bottom of the cycle bracket you would have gotten an even better entry and then like if you went short i remember sebastian had us getting in short right at the end of the day over here on may 4th it was fomc all right and this was a phenomenal entry because the next morning we opened here and we just went it was straight down it was like look at this move it's straight that's oh holy jesus that's a 20 dollar move in a day um but that's what i'm saying the cycle bracket had you buying in right here because this was your uh top of the cycle bracket over here and we were still in our downtrend we knew like the sentiment was still bearish now we know we have reasons over here we have reasons to be bullish and that's why i say that's why i put the the white lines here as buy signals um just because or not even buy signal but just like if you were to buy that's like these are the lows of the cycle brackets um so like who says we don't see this and then that but what i'm saying here okay is if it does back here okay back here you're the top of the cycle bracket was right here right so it was right there and we'll actually mark that we'll just we'll v that thing right there so that was the top of the cycle bracket and then by the bottom of the cycle bracket you had no movement all right by the next top of the cycle bracket look where you are you're come on let me get to, hang on hang on there we go all right by the next top of the cycle bracket you're over here okay but like notice how you did not push up at the bottom of the cycle bracket you didn't start pushing up the next like the next following few days you started actually breaking down from this consolidation but you also ignore like what i'm saying is when it ignores when you're in that trend okay and it ignores one of these things all right like it means like a move can be coming so like look at this all right so why didn't it happen like the other weeks right why didn't it do exactly what i was saying here okay so these were buy signals using this technique strategy whatever you want to call these cycle brackets on the qqq all right that are full credit to sebastian so i'm not going to mention any more after this but seriously moving forward you guys see cycle brackets on this channel full credit to sebastian because i don't even at this moment know the inputs but i'm going to figure them out because this definitely is something that's useful and a lot of people in the market must be looking at this if it's working this way this it, this means something all right um but what i'm trying to point out is notice how you were at the uh you were at the top here and you should have sold off okay because if it was continuing like these you should have sold off but then you bought here okay so you bought here um or not bought here uh, you bought over here, but then you hit the bottom of the cycle bracket and it also didn't go up. So now it didn't go down. It didn't go up. All right. It just straight up consolidated. It just ignored the signal of the cycle brackets that the past following five weeks have given it. All right. It ignored it. A five week trend that has been going on. All right. And then after this week, it continued for five weeks. So this definitely is a trend kind of thing. Okay. Um, but yeah, that this was the only uh right here this was the only time right here that it like did not follow this but yeah then look it started doing the same exact thing it started going back to giving your signals and it started listening to your signals look at this you if you buy the bottom and sold the top you were making money each and every time like this is crazy gains right here this is literally crazy gains look at this guys i can't i can't stress this enough like just look but why wasn't it that way that one time okay and i'm just re-putting everything on the map um like why wasn't it you why weren't you making any money this one time okay you didn't you didn't see the move that it was expecting okay or it was projecting whereas we're also not seeing the move that it's projecting this time okay and i don't know why come on man let me put on the line please oh uh, there it is okay i got stuck um so look at this okay now you're here okay so if we come down here and we start bouncing then that's valid okay if we come all the way down here but if we don't come down here by monday okay if we're not like 
if we're not making a low by monday and on tuesday we're not bouncing up and we're like consolidating okay then like it could be setting up going into this one just like it did back here that's what i was trying to say just like it did back here it ignored this one and it went into this one so the the big dump got saved for the next one so i'm just saying if we're gonna tie this thing into the big picture maybe we do get a whole shit ton of consolidations and over here is where we get a dump i don't know okay i have no idea i'm just saying this is just a trend uh that i noticed and i thought it does have some value and it does add video or not add video add some value to this video all right um but yeah guys i'm still expecting a dump everything is lining up for you to dump and uh even if it's not a big dump i still think we're going to um i, I think we are going to have a little pullback and then maybe what i just mentioned happens because again it is setting up for a big dump look at how much vix has consolidated we're at the edge of this pattern we're hitting support support levels like crazy all right like i'm just saying vix is predicting that you're going to probably have a big move down on the spy because last time look what happened last time we spiked okay in the, the following two sessions you spiked uh you spiked like crazy on vix it's a 44 percent spike um so june 9th come over here to june 9th what happened june 9th that was our days okay that was literally the days we had a uh look at this sell-off all right we had a minus 36 dollar sell-off in the span of three days all right so i'm just saying that's what vix is suggesting that we are going to be doing we're gonna have an absolute crazy rug pull Bitcoin is breaking out from its, its rising wedge here. Or not breaking out. It already did break out. Uh, today's the first day of it being outside of it. Um, so we're going to be seeing what happens here. Um, but yeah, Bitcoin's not too important to us other than our beautiful, lovely Mara trade that we're going to continue rinsing and repeating this one beautiful investment slash trade. Because, I mean, listen, I'm willing to hold on for over a year with these entries okay if we're getting the solid entries look at this five dollar level look at this buy down here like this is the most perfect entry we possibly could have gotten and it was achieved all right it was achieved and i hope you guys had it on on the uh on the chart just like i did because that's when i wanted to, this that was the second buy okay the first buy was up here uh up here at 890 um and then second buy was down here all right and it was because i had this thing on my chart so um, but yeah, this, this is the only reason I do pay attention to Bitcoin. Other than that, I don't care about Bitcoin. But also, Bitcoin is connected to QQQ. Um, so sometimes, well, most of the time, just not recently, as you see, like Bitcoin has been falling here as QQ has been rising. Um, recently, they have been separating. But ap apart from recently, they have uh, been moving together for quite some time uh but yeah guys that is pretty much it i am expecting downside like there's no denying that uh i am just it, it's got to come okay it's got to come at some point we're at this uh this golden pocket it's like the technicals are perfect for a decline okay i'm just saying we are at this over uh overbought region we're still here on the indices all right and vix is still here in the oversold region and as of today you're getting your buy signal all right, but what I will say is uh, yesterday going in today, your stochastic turned down again, but I don't think it matters. I think it's literally just going to do this consolidating thing. It's not like it's turning down when it's way up here. It's not like it's turning up. Like when, when, like when it turns up when it's down here, yeah, you have potential for the move, right? But when it turns down when it's up, when it's down here, it, dude, it's not going to matter much. It's not going to matter because the next day it could turn up, all right? Um, but yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. That's all I got for this video. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.